This is my little jig for making up frames, making up uh, supers or uh, brood box frames. If you notice here, I've got a little magnet embedded in here, holding a different size nails here from that. So everything's there for a reason and we'll run through the construction of a frame using this jig. First of all, I'll get the, the bar, the crossbar. Now, always with the crossbar, you have to get, you have to get this off. Invariably, it has these slithers of wood on it. You have to remove them. This bar gets put into here for safekeeping. You want to clear that out too. Now that's done, you put it in here. You have to get your side pieces. Again, the jig that makes that doesn't always cut it perfectly. So save you later on. You may have to clear out some debris in here just so the wax runs perfectly. That's okay. And this runs, this is perfect. Everything's okay. Now, because this is in place in the jig, I just put that in and it fits in nicely. And again, that fitted in very easily. Just to make sure I'm going to turn it up like that, see if it's fitted in correctly here and here. You'll see this bit come a bit closer. This bit here is perfect. Come across here. This bit isn't. Well, it is now. And put everything back. Now, you may wonder why I put this bar here. You'll see that in a little minute. Now, I'm happy with that. Everything's okay. I'm now taking it off and laying it down here. Now I'm going to nail the side bars to the top bar. Start with this one, appropriate size nail. I go right in the middle, straight up and down. Looks good. Now I'm nailing this, this, side, this side bar. How I'm going to do that is position the nail where I want it and it's at 45 degrees. So once we have it in, not too far, I'm going to lift it up, position it, this top bar at 45 degrees, but the nail is at 90 degrees to the horizontal, which makes it easy for me to pin down. I've just noticed the top bar has moved a little bit, Great that I noticed that now. I'll just repair that. There, it's now perfect. So, the nail is 90 degrees to the horizontal. It makes it so much easier to nail down this way, straight up and down, rather than nailing at a 45 degree angle. We've nailed here, we've nailed here. This is quite an important one to do, if you want to do it this way, obviously. 45 degrees, but on a horizontal here. Now we're going to swap it round, put it back in the jig, and do the very same thing here. Position it, make sure it's okay. Perfect. So we'll nail this end, this is flush, I know, we'll take the nail point, we'll stick it in the middle, it's at 45 degrees, the angle, the corresponding angle here, now we're going to lift it, the nail is now 90 degrees to the horizontal, and then we set it. A wee tip. I'll show you if we do happen to put a nail in and it's wrong or it stands to bend or we've got a problem with it. If we've got a 
pair of scissors handy. What you can do is put it around there and actually pull it out very easily. So I'll do that again. If it goes in and it's the wrong angle or it's something's wrong with it, we want it out, use an old pair of scissors, get hold of it and pull it out. Now that we've got these four nailed and everything's flush, we take it and we place it in this part of the jig. So we need to put these on. These can be awkward because not all, not all, uh, not all manufacturers have the same jig that went in rather easily, and so did that one. Just force that down. We take the next one. And that went in easily too, not always that easily. If you look here, this is not quite even. So what I'll do is, this is sticking out. I will put that on here. All perfect, all perfect. We just need to nail it now two schools of thought and on nailing it. Do we nail it in from the top? Great. In from the top? Fantastic. And then if, if, that, if, if, we, if we do that way, we can then extract the, the crossbars very easily in the future for cleaning. If we nail from the side, that locks in place it's intrinsically much stronger across the grain than down the grain. Again, a position right in the middle. Straighten it up. Not always easy with big fingers. Happy with that. So that's all done. I find it always easier working to this side, maybe because I'm right handed. So I'll just turn that around. Again, check this. Nail in the middle. We set the nail. We can straighten out with our fingers as you see. Oh, easy mistake to make, don't worry about that. Straighten it. Don't worry about the nail bending like that. They're easy bent, bent back up the way. And straighten the middle again. These nails are very forgiving, as is the wood. Good. You may wonder why I put this here. This is for keeping the wax in place. But why have I got three holes here? Because when I position these nails, hammer down. These are for the sections of, this is for the wax, the, these correspond to the loops in the wax. But I want you to notice this, if I turn it up the nails are exposed 
at least two of them are well exposed. That to me is quite important and I'll show you why in a minute. Now I'm going to place the wax in. Now before I put the wax in, check everything's okay. I know everything's square because it's it fits into the jig perfectly so the wax is going to fit perfectly. There is sometimes a problem here because the wood is sometimes close, sometimes bowed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a knife in here, I'm going to open up that space. You're not going to crack the wood, but that opens up the space better for the wax. Now I have the wax, I've got the loops the right way. How I do it is I start with putting the corner in and feeding the rest of the wax down into the gully at the top of the frame. Now that it's there and I can see it's even, I draw it down evenly until I get to about here. Then I turn the loops up on itself and I follow through to the very bottom. So it's all sitting nice on the very bottom. This is where this, this pre-nailed piece of wood comes into its own. I will take it and I will place it in the jig. Now because some of the nails were sticking out, it's going to stick there very nicely. very little effort here. I didn't have to hold the nails at the edge, it wasn't very cumbersome, it was actually quite neat and tidy. So, so we have the one perfectly mid frame here. Great, everything nailed in correctly, no major mistakes, wax nice and straight and the use of this jig. Just to double check, you can see this jig works perfectly, it does me, it'll be down in the cottage if anybody wants to use it, happy frame making.